Another absolutely beautiful day here in Malaysia. This is Johor Bahru. In an area called uh, Sunway Iskandar. Look at that blue sky. Look at those lovely, lovely clouds. And you can listen to the wildlife. Listen to this. And people wonder why we want to stay here rather than go back to England. I get up every morning. And it's like this. In the UK, you spend seven to eight months of the year, and it's just wet, miserable, cold, dark, dirty, yuck. So, this is why I want to be here. The nature, the sounds. Don't get me wrong, I love England. I just don't want to live there. Remember? That beautiful day I showed you earlier, it changed. It's now, I'm rain, getting rained on. It's now thunder and lightning. Breakfast time. I mean, lunch time. Two o'clock. <laughs> Thank you to my lovely wife who's done me this food. Thank you, my darling. It's delicious. I know I shouldn't. So I'm getting told off now for talking about my mouthful. You can't vlog in silence. Plus, this is me. Mm. Best thing to come in a sandwich. This is fish fingers. Fish fingers and eggs, fried eggs. Come on. Mm. So, as the um, thunderstorm outside continues, I'm inside anyway, which we're supposed to be, so what's the matter? And I'm continuing to edit my wife's video whilst watching Casey Neistat. The biggest problem with editing on my computer is I'm stuck in this room on this chair and it just seems to take forever I think I, I mean with these daily vlogs I'm not taking excess footage I think with um, the vlogs I do for myself and for other people normally my wife and my, my granddaughter and daughter um, they tend to give me like you know 30 minutes to an hour plus footage and I make a five ten minute video from so it's a lot to break down. Obviously on my telephone, I think it's fairly short. I'm not really getting a huge amount of wastage. The other thing is with the telephone, I can, I can sit down quietly for like half an hour and just, I mean, okay, if I have a laptop, I could do the same. I, I accept that, but I don't have a laptop. But what I'm saying is with my telephone, I can sort of, what I'll tend to do during the day is I'll go upstairs for an hour and do some reading. I tend to try to read one chapter of each of my two books I'm reading on the Kindle. So that's Dune and um, Frank Herbert's Dune and a shoe dog story of Nike. And so I'll tend to read a chapter of each of those. And then like, I might do a bit of editing because you can sort of just turn the telephone on, do a little bit of editing. It saves everything automatically. You move back, carry on and do something else. And the only thing I would say, Vlo, I would really like it if I turned my telephone portrait, sorry, landscape, if the program turned, it doesn't. I can only operate it in portrait mode, which is pretty so, crap. When since I started daily vlogging, which was um, March 17th, so I'm now 36 vlogs in, uh, I really have seen, like, for me, what's for me incredible growth. I started doing uh, YouTube in January 2018. It took me till March of 2019 to hit 175 subscribers. 18th of March uh, 2019, I got 175 subscribers. 
since I've started doing this daily vlogging, I've got 174 subscribers in the last 30 days. My views for the last 30 days is 29,000. These aren't a lot for top YouTubers. Lots of top YouTubers will get that in a day. But for somebody like me that's been struggling at YouTube for over two years now, to suddenly find myself with views of upwards of 900 views a day, you know, that's, that's just sweet. I'm enjoying this. Um, I don't think I'll make any greatest videos, but obviously at this time, um, what can you do? You know, it's not like I can go out and shake you off walking in it, whatever. I can't take you off on trips to anywhere because we're all stuck at home. So I really want to say thank you for those people that are watching me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Oh! The reason I can make daily vlogs is because I have the love and support of this beautiful woman here, the crafty nanny. You can check out her YouTube channel as well. She not only loves me, she feeds me. She always tries to feed me healthy food, which, even though I fight her again all the time for that. Um, she has to, during our, our life together, we have had some very, very beautiful, big English country houses. And now she finds herself having to cook me food in this tiny little Malaysian kitchen. But it's the first time in 10 years she's actually had a proper cooker, because that's sort of a thing that when we came to Malaysia, there wasn't really much in the way of proper, proper cookers. Most people just seem to have a little, one of those things that has a gas bottle plugged into it, like a desktop thing. So this is her doing her, her business. She's been making her own vlogs today and been doing artwork, my baby. Yeah. Doing some artwork. So bugs day today, which is why I'm wearing Well, she's bugs. wearing bugs. Look, let's see if we get the bugs, bugs in bugs here. Today, I'm bugs. You can't say that she's um, not eccentric because she is it's in the family, <laughs> family full of artists. <laughs> They're slightly crazy in the family. In a good way, isn't that right, baby? In a good way. And uh, she's the woman for me. That's for sure. <laughs> and there you have it. There you have the truth of the matter. In fact, I'm just at the moment producing one of her videos. So it's just. Um, being rendered, ready to go up onto the YouTubes. So that'll be up soon.